Hello and thank you for stopping by. My name is Gavin Fish. This is my channel. Today we're diving back into coverage of the victims and possible victims of the Zodiac Killer as we commemorate the solving of the 51-year-old 340 cipher. Saturday, February 21st, 1970. 24-year-old John Franklin Hood, known as Frank to his friends, is walking along Cemetery Beach in Santa Barbara, California with his fiance, 20-year-old Sandra Garcia. The couple had been engaged for a year, most of which was spent with Frank deployed overseas in the Vietnam conflict. He had only been home for about a month and was looking forward to his life with Sandra. Frank is described in newspapers as a Vietnam War hero, and for good reason. He had been awarded the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, the Purple Heart, and a presidential citation for his service with the 64th Armored Division in Vietnam. After his discharge, he'd found work at Wimpy's Drive-In, a place he'd worked at prior to his service. He lived in Oxnard, California, which is in the Santa Barbara area. Sandra, who had been anxiously awaiting Frank's return from military service, was working for the California State Motor Vehicle Department, now known as the DMV. She lived in Santa Barbara. Surely, the couple was enjoying their time together after a year apart, during which they didn't know if they'd ever see each other again. The couple never returned from their walk on the beach. They were last seen at about 6 p.m. when they left Sandra's family's home. The following day, their beaten and stabbed bodies were found by beachgoers. They were fully clothed, lying together beneath a green blanket. Beneath their bodies, police found the murder weapon, a bone-handled fish knife with one four-inch regular blade and one saw blade. Frank's car was found parked near the beach. Investigators began by attempting to track the couple's movements the previous day. They interviewed friends and family and tried cobbling together as much information as they could. In their investigation, police looked for a motive but could find none. They ruled out robbery early on as Frank still had his wallet in his pocket with a small amount of cash inside. Sandra still had her pocketbook. Frank's father told the press that he was baffled by his son's murder. He said that his son didn't have an enemy in the world. A police spokesman told reporters that their public request for help in identifying the owner of the fish knife had brought forth a large number of responses and that they had investigated them all. But no positive leads led to the killer. Within a few days, Napa County Sheriff's investigators announced that they were reaching out to their Santa Barbara counterparts to see if there were any similarities with the attack on Cecilia Shepard and Brian Hartnell at Lake Berryessa the year earlier. No connection was ever announced that I can find. But I'm curious what you think. To me, there are striking similarities between the two cases. While I couldn't get the high-resolution article itself, Zodiac Cipher shared an article from the Oxnard Press Courier that Frank Hood was stabbed 11 times in the face and back, but that Sandra Garcia took the brunt of the attack. To me, this sounds similar to the Lake Berryessa attack. The other obvious similarity is that the crime took place near water. However, there's no mention of any rope or other bindings that were present in the attack of Cecilia Shepard and Brian Hartnell, and Robert Domingos and Linda Edwards for that matter. For me, this is a crime that, while not a confirmed Zodiac case, bears enough similarities for me to believe that the attacker was the Zodiac Killer. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. 
And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.